in your one man acts mm -hmm. I saw it about two three years ago hilarious oh thanks there's a lot of visuals that you talked about mm -hmm. I'm assuming in the movie you're going to be jumping out of a two story window yeah you guessed right stuntman or you stuntman <laughs> I can't do oh can't come do on um, yeah you've done it once already right Yes, I did it once, and I, I don't hope to do it again. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, mean I, I don't want to give away sort of how we did it, because it's, it's an interesting visual, but um, it's, it's artful, but it's, it's exciting, and it, a lot of the sound design had to do with it as well. We really, we really get the feeling of experiencing being a dream and then crashing through a window kind of back to back. And it's exciting. I mean, I'm really, that every time we, we work on that part of the movie, I go, and I lived it, and I'm editing the movie, so. How about the set design for the apartment uh, in terms of hiding the bedroom? We didn't, that didn't make it, I okay. appreciate you knowing that reference, but that didn't make it to this part of the adaptation. What kind of expectations do you have for the film versus your, you know, your one-man show versus your book? You know, I don't have any expectations beyond I, I just, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what you think of it. I mean, I, I, I really enjoyed making it. It was the hardest thing I've ever done, um, but I hope to make many more films after this. And, um, I, I'm just excited to hear people, see people laugh when I'm, I'm not on stage. <laughs> That'd be nice to sit back and watch people laugh at something I created without having to do the workout on stage.